Meredith, if you can unmute, the floor is yours. Hi, Garrett. Thanks for taking the time. How would you evaluate your start tonight? I thought it was good. Uh, it was nice to get through five. We were efficient. Um, bounced back from a couple walks well. And uh, overall, the location was pretty good. It looked like at one point in time, before they end Duhar home run, you went to keep the ball, but they threw the ball aside. Is that just one of those adjustments because of the protocols and because of the rules you're going to have to get used to? Yeah, we weren't exactly sure if we were supposed to keep it or not. Um, you know, and so we kind of made a joke about it, and it, it looks like I probably should have kept it. <laughs> Overall, what do you take away from tonight's outing? Um, did hit the load really well, worked with Gary well. Uh, like I said, had all four, uh, you know, pretty much located well tonight. Uh, need to work on the fastball command a little bit, but um, good progression. We could take our next question from Sweeney Murdy. Sweeney, go ahead and unmute. Hey, Garrett, um, I wanted to know how much of this was basically you treating it like a normal, regular season start. Mike King was just talking to us about how you treat everything kind of business-like, but I noticed like before you took your first pitch, you went back behind the mound, kind of crouched down. Um, is that all part of your normal game day routine? Is that, is that what you're trying to build right now? Yeah, I just try to fall into that rhythm as best I could. Um, and try to practice it early in the clubhouse too, dealing with the new dynamic here uh, and new digs. So um, just trying to practice like as much as I can to get as comfortable as I can. Um, and uh, so, yeah. We can take our next question from Pete Caldera. Pete, go ahead. Hey, Garrett. Uh, yesterday, Jay Happ uh, said after his outing that uh, he was kind of surprised at the adrenaline rush he, he sort of felt and wasn't expecting for an inter squad game. I wonder if that was similar for you or, or you just had that adrenaline, adrenaline naturally going in. Yeah, I, uh, I just, you know, I just tried to find that um, kind of middle ground between being too high and too low. I, I say is a little, uh, normally you kind of run into these uh games and especially this time of year and and you're you're more often not trying to calm yourself down this is one of those where uh you know i was trying to you know get up and make sure that i was focused because you want to take it as business-like as you can uh, but it was nice to see and feel the competitiveness uh on the field um and that's just a testament to you know the guys everybody's bringing it so um we're all in the same boat there Christy Ackert. Christy, if you can unmute, go ahead and ask a question. Hi, Garrett. I'm just curious what kind of feedback you can get from facing hitters on your own team that maybe you not wouldn't get in a normal traditional spring training if there was anything today that you got. Um, if there's an opportunity to have a couple conversations with some of the guys on our side tomorrow, I most likely will do that. I haven't caught up with them this evening. Um, so the ability to get feedback after the fact is always beneficial. Uh, but in terms of, um, in terms of approaching the game, it was just, it was easy. You know, there's two lineups and, and I don't, we were just, I don't know, I was trying to win. So unfortunately we lost. Thank you. Bob Clappish, you can unmute and ask the next question, please. Hey, Garrett, can you hear me okay? Yes. I'm just curious um, what it was like to pitch in such a quiet ballpark. <laughs> um, typically, you know, you get a big crowd reaction when you get a strikeout, make a big pitch, get a big out, and instead it's totally silent and it's going to be that way in the regular season. I'm just curious if that's going to be much of an adjustment for you or if you think it's going to be a problem. Um, I, I don't know. I, this is the first kind of real, real – most game-like scenario I've been put in with it. Um, it was, it was certainly different, but everything's different. Um, I, I didn't have trouble focusing tonight, so uh, I'm just gonna try to get in my space and just do what I do. Take another question from Eric Boland. Eric, go ahead and unmute. Hey, Garrett. Um, 
We all saw what happened with Massa on Saturday. In 2016, he took a line drive off the bat of Jordan Zimmerman, I think it was, off the head. I'm just curious, as a pitcher, what's the biggest challenge getting back on the mound the first time after something like that happened? Well, I think the balance between trying to be aggressive within the zone because you want to throw strikes and um, and the potential for that happening when you uh, allow yourself to miss over the heart of the plate. So um, it's a little bit of a dance, um, you know, and uh, obviously uh, that was kind of a traumatic experience. So I, I think it kind of woke everybody up and um, – you know, we'll be a little more, a little more on edge, just to try to be as safe as we can as we as we get going, because we certainly don't want to lose anyone. Thanks, Garrett. Take another question from Marley Rivera. Marley, go ahead and unmute. Garrett, thank you very much for taking the time. Uh, we all know how much attention to detail is part of your routine. How much would those little things, like all the protocols, you know, like you just said about the ball, learning that kind of stuff? get you off your game and get you off your of, of that kind of attention to detail? Um, well, I think there's obviously going to be some added preparation in terms of really knowing the rules before we get out there, and that's kind of all of our responsibilities. So um, it falls under the job description of playing during a pandemic, and uh, we'll get it done. We'll get it done, and we'll do it safely. And just a quick follow-up. A lot of the guys, in terms of playing for the pan, you know, under the pandemic, some of the guys were saying, you know, who doesn't want to be the coronavirus season champion? What do you think about these people? You know, you are, you know, you've been to a World Series. What do you think of these people who think that this will be a star champion, you know, not a real World Series with a 60 games? I, I mean, that's the word that they used to describe it. I, I feel like unique is is uh, a better, is, a cho is, the, is the word that I choose, um, you know, but that's their opinion. Certainly in this clubhouse, I think uh, uh, our, our mindset doesn't change regardless of how many games uh, we, we have to play in order to reach that pinnacle. And um, so I, I don't anticipate us going about our business any different than that. We'll take a final question from Andy Martino. Andy, go ahead and unmute. Garrett, hey, in the, in the first spring training, you were, you seem very self-aware about how you're supposed to feel at every stage from like your first bullpen to your first sim game at live BP. So how do you feel right now? It's such a weird time to be ramping up. You feel like you were, you're supposed to feel at the end of a spring training. You already feel like uh, a regular season in terms of sharpness and stamina or like where in the progression of your normal season are you at the moment? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I would say relative to maybe a normal spring training ramp up somewhere in the second half of it, but uh, closer to the halfway mark than the end, if that makes sense. A uh, few days to recover after this start will maybe give me a better gauge of uh, exactly where we're at. We did push the total pitches and the ups today. Um, we have an extra day built in somewhere along the line to to make an adjustment because we aren't quite as sure uh as we normally would be um you know I, but i'm doing it for the first time uh and i'm just trusting really uh the yankees guys and their prep and and i've reached out to a few people of uh who've who've gone through a shortened spring training and and they've given me they've given me some advice so